let's talk about healthy habits here are the 10 habits that i have incorporated into my life so i can be a happy er person slash live a healthy life habit number one is to have a morning routine oh i posted oh i shared with you guys my morning routine which i believe around up here so you guys can check it out but it's so so crucial to have a morning routine so you can start your day out on a great note in my case i am a mom so i would i like to wake up before my kid so i can have a better i guess so i can have a peaceful morning otherwise if i wake up when he wakes up it's just it's just a mess and we don't want that we don't like that we like to have a peaceful morning so we can just have a great day habit number two move your body yes move your body and i don't mean just do a one hour hit workout every day if that's what you want to do go ahead in my case i do like to work out four to five times a week because it keeps me i feel like it helps with your mental health and it just keeps me going it gives me energy but if that's not you then go for a walk if you can go ride a bike do dance do whatever makes you happy but just keep moving your body you will greatly greatly appreciate it habit number three take care of your body yes because you only got one body so guess what you got to take care of it whether it's mentally by drinking your water because you gotta stay hydrated drinking not drinking well drinking and eating your veggies but just take care of your body and your mental health because that's number one priority habit number four is to start and end and end your day on a grateful note by this i mean just be freaking grateful whether you're thinking about it or writing it in my case in the mornings so now so I, I say open my eyes i say thank you for you know for making it to another day and after that i do have a gratitude journal where i write 10 things i'm grateful for in the morning like that's during my morning routine and at night i kind of think about it i don't sit down and write what i'm grateful for but i think about what happened throughout the day like what made me happy and honestly the book magic I've been reading it and that's also something that has been helping me to stay on a grateful note. Habit number five is to be present. And by being present, I mean whenever I'm with my family, I'm just not sitting and just be on my phone. If there's something that 2020 taught me, I know it probably taught you guys as well, is that you don't know when it's going to hit the fan. You don't know. What's gonna happen in the foreseeable future so i like to be present with my loved ones i like to pay attention to my brothers well not always but i like to be <laughs> i like to pay even if they're showing me some silly TikTok that they did i just like to be there because those are the moments i'm gonna remember later on in life if i'm on my phone i'm not gonna remember anything habit number six it's something i'm working on but it's no screen time at a certain time and replacing that with reading books i once i kind of started this i have gotten so much joy and my mind was so at ease and so peaceful when i read a chapter or two in a book then scrolling down on instagram or tiktok like you're just scrolling like you're just spending your time scrolling doing absolutely nothing so what i do at night or whenever I get a chance I just like to grab a book read it and put my phone away silent mode do not disturb and just have my quality time just me and my book when nobody disturbing habit number seven to get a decent amount of sleep yes sleep sleep is so crucial I kid you not it helps you when if you're like trying to lose weight sleeping helps you lose weight first of all Second of all, sleep is freaking great. I love to sleep. I love, 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 love. Huge fan. I could sleep for hours if you let me. But before, when I was younger, when I was at school, I would sleep for four, three, five hours. And I felt like my body was able to function. And it did. Like sometimes I went 24 hours without sleeping and I was fine. I had all this energy. But I feel like that catches up to you. And going back to the taking care of your body, you got to take care of your body and you got to sleep so it doesn't, you know, 
make it worse for you down the road. Habit number eight is to have your me time. Whether it is 10 minutes of, again, reading your favorite book, 10 minutes of sitting on the couch, 10 minutes of, you know, doing your skincare, pampering yourself, taking a bath, whatever it is, whether it's minutes or hours, do it. You are going to feel so much better. In my case, my me time is after my kid goes to sleep. I like to sit on my couch, do nothing, watch a little bit of TV, sometimes a glass of wine, sometimes I eat snacks, sometimes I eat ice cream, but those are things that bring me joy because that's my me time. Other times I do a whole skincare moment. Whatever it is that makes you happy, do it. Take time out for it. You are not going to regret it. Habit number nine is to be nice. Be kind to yourself. And by this I mean saying your positive affirmations every morning. It is not okay in my eyes to talk about yourself in a negative sort of way or downgrade yourself or whatever the case may be because your mind your brain has a lot of power and you're going to start believing those things about you so if you're going to start believing shit about you might as well have them be positive because guess what you are freaking awesome you are freaking beautiful and you are a badass so yeah be nice to yourself be kind and if you feel if you don't feel comfortable um talking to yourself in the mirror or whatever the case may be what something i have done is that i set different alarms at different times to go off with a positive note that i will read to myself and i feel like that just brightens your day i sometimes forget that i have those um alarms and it will pop up times where i need it and then i read it and then i feel happy and then life goes on but it makes me feel better so just a little tip if you don't like talking to yourself in the mirror and last but not least is to live your life yes you need to give zero yeah you know what i mean because the way i see it is if you live life based on whatever so and so may say you're never going to be happy and at the same time whether you do something someone likes or not they're still going to talk about you they're still going to talk about it they're still going to have complaints so people will never be happy people will never be satisfied so for all that do whatever you want live your life to the fullest and just be freaking happy because guess what you deserve it on that note i am ending this video i hope you guys enjoyed it down below comment what are your healthy habits that you are following or have been following for a while so we can all take notes and exchange and have a conversation down in the comments don't forget to like this video if you liked it and also if you're not subscribed which i've seen that about 73 percent of you are not subscribed but still watch my videos hello what you doing subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a video until then i love you so much and thank you so much for being here see you in the next one Bye.